Greetings, everybody. This is Linda Kopecki, the Interim Executive Director of the Minnesota Breastfeeding Coalition. I'm going to walk you through the um, information about bylaws that we would like you to vote on. Essentially, we are asking that uh, the old bylaws be repealed and a newer simplified version be adopted for the organization. The original bylaws were created soon after NBC was formed. Um, there wasn't much structure or very few activities to inform the bylaws. And we've evolved quite a bit over the past 15 years, especially in the past two or three years. And so the bylaws have not been able to keep up. It was recommended by a member of the governance subcommittee that we, uh, since there are so many changes to make that we simply repeal the old bylaws and create a newer simplified version that removed um, some Ex excess from the bylaws and information and details that did not need to be in the bylaws and also, also added equitable and inclusive practices into the bylaws. We spent about six months doing this. Four big changes. One, adding the executive director position into the bylaws. Number two, adding a treasurer elect position and increasing the maximum number of board members from 11 to 13. Number three, changing the membership structure and um, voting privileges, uh, changing it from one coalition, one vote to one active participant, one vote. More details coming on that. And then fourth big change is um, changing the, the name and the structure of our general meetings from steering committee to representative council. And we, uh, I'll provide you some details here. So these are screenshots of the simplified version of the bylaws that you have received. Mission and Article 1 are essentially unchanged. Mission, name, and purpose essentially unchanged. Uh, number two is um, participation rather than membership. And participation is open to any individual coalition organization that wants to contribute financially to the Minnesota Breastfeeding Coalition, contributing financially at different levels and different categories uh, will yield benefits. And we added benefits so that um, contributing financially really does have, um, it, it makes a difference. It, these are benefits that are, um, things that coalitions and individuals really want. In the past, it was coalitions paying $25 every two years to be a member and to have voting privileges. So voting was tied to paying money to the Minnesota Breastfeeding Coalition. So part of this change is decoupling or changing voting privileges from one coalition, one vote, one coalition that paid money to the organization, one vote, to one active person, one vote. So it's connecting voting to participation and activity and engagement with the Minnesota Breastfeeding Coalition, rather than voting is connected to paying money to the Minnesota Breastfeeding Coalition. Um, the details about what engagement and participation means are going to be worked out over the next three months. It is about uh, participating in workshops or teleconferences, subcommittees, planning teams, um, the representative council. There's many ways that we will be defining engagement and participation. The article three, is about participant meetings, um, formerly known as membership meetings. Um, we are required to have an annual meeting every year to maintain our nonprofit status. The quorum is changing from 20% to 10%. Article four covers participant voting, formerly membership voting. Um, voting happens on two topics. One is bylaws such as this. And the second one is board of directors. And that isn't changing. The quorum is recommended to go from 20% down to 10%. 
Article five covers board of directors. This is a pretty long section with a lot of details and very little has changed. The two big changes are adding a treasurer elect position so that we have a deeper bench and a smoother transition. Um, that treasurer elect would be treasurer elect for their first year and the treasurer their second year on the board. And as we're adding position, changing the maximum number of board members from 11 to 13. Um, Article six covers the representative council. Uh, we used to have an article about the steering committee, uh, which has proved to be inequitable. The representative council is, um, will meet regularly and it will consist of board of directors and participants from the broader coalition community. We will make sure that it's representative of the geography, the cultural diversity of our state, the ethnic diversity of our state, the different coalitions. There will be expectations of different groups to assign somebody to the representative council, and it will be a two-way conversation between the representative council and the Minnesota Coalition, Minnesota Breastfeeding Coalition. We've built in some equity and inclusion language into, these, into this section of the bylaws. Article 7, covers the executive director, which is a new position as of January, 2020. Um, the rest of the bylaws are unchanged from the previous version. Subcommittees and teams essentially unchanged. Fiscal year, the same. And if we ever need to dissolve the Minnesota Breastfeeding Coalition, we have guidance in our bylaws. Um, thank you and I uh, happy voting.